How's it going? Are you Steven? Yeah. My name's Gabriel. I'm with WKYT. Is this, is this what you call WKYT on your side? It used to be, it used to be a... It might have been before my time. Now it's 27 News First. Yeah. you uh, 27. There used to be a show, a uh, news program in West Hill, something W, some, some station on your side. You don't, you don't know anything about that? Um, th that might have been an old logo from one of the other stations. Might have been ours. I don't know. You don't know anything about it? Yeah. I've only been here a couple of years. But, yeah. Yeah. Gabriel, what's your last name? Rojas. Um, I'll show you exactly what you... Well, I'll show you. Okay. You, 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 take it, hey, you taking pictures of this man? We are, we are. Is yeah. that all right with you? you? you, you yeah, you got that right there. You see that solar oven? Yeah. You know what that is? In your question, man. Do you know he, what that is right no. there? Yeah, he's with That's me. a solar oven. Okay. You, everybody else is tearing down the goddamn mountains, man, to get coal, to wash your clothes, to heat the water. I, I heat my water right there in that solar oven. I don't use coal. I don't even have electricity in this house because I don't deal with the coal merchants. I don't buy electricity from crooks, from criminals who are destroying people's homes in the mountains to get the coal. I advise you to do the same thing, to not use electricity, which will put you straight out of business. And you know what you do then? The same thing I do, which is raise a garden. Yeah, I mean, do you hope that this could be a model for others to follow? Of course, and then I just say to you, quit using electricity? Sure. Yeah, because, man, corporate cooks, crooks, Corporate crooks, just like down the street right now, the gas company, man, tearing the whole Georgetown all apart to get natural gas here that's being fracked. And, and fracking is a, is, a, is a toxic, destructive, environmentally damaging extraction process, and they're going to be doing it here in the bluegrass. They're already doing it in the mountains in Kentucky to get natural gas. Do I use natural gas? No, I'll show you what I buy. Yeah, we want to we want to give you a chance to let people see what's going on here. Is it okay if we yeah, follow? Yeah, yeah, come on. Okay. I don't want to upset you, but no, I'm already upset, man. I stay upset because I'm doing the right thing, and all these corporate criminals are trying to run me out of town. Be right back. Okay, I'll wait. This is my lawnmower. The scythe? A scythe, yeah. Excuse me. But, but, but just put your finger right there. I'm all right. Yeah. I'll put, I'll I mean, put just, a just, piece just, of paper. I'll put a piece of paper. It's sharp. It cuts the paper. Yeah, yeah, right, right. It's very sharp. And it will cut just as slick as any power lawnmower. No noise. No gasoline. No foreign policy in Iraq, Iran, Venezuela, any place else to get the petrol to run a machine. Look, look down here. All those people right there, they're the ones that do all the complaining because they, they're pro-government. The government is always right. But the fact is, man, the food they eat is polluted because they don't raise it themselves. I raise as much of my own food. That's why these rags, why do you think these old rags are on these peace trees? I was wondering. Don't that look horrible? Well, I'll tell you why they're there because if they weren't there, the squirrels would have all the peaches. That, those are up, those, those uh, we're all about, about gone now, but look at this. Those rags keep the squirrels away. If I didn't have those rags on the trees, the squirrels would be in there eating them all, eating all of them. They were eating all of them until I put the rags on there. I'm going to let you read this. Read this to the man. Read it, read it for the sure. camera if you Absolutely. want to. Read, just, the highlighted part? No, just, uh, well, let me see. Um, you go ahead. Here. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, just start at number two there. All right. Start the at number the two. Underline, okay. Can you read that to him? No agricultural or silvicultural operation. What's silvicultural? It's tree culture. Tree okay. raising of trees. Operation or any of its appurtenances shall shall be or become a nuisance or trespass, private or public, or be in violation of any zoning ordinance, or be subject to any ordinance that would restrict the right of the operator of agricultural or silvicultural operation to utilize normal and accepted practices by any changed conditions in or about the locality thereof after the same has been in operation for more than one year when the operation was not a nuisance at the time the operation began. Let people know what, what I'm reading here. It's Kentucky this Statute. This is KRS. This is Kentucky Ty Revised Statute 224. I'm sorry. Uh, it's chapter 413, Wait, limitation 413, of actions. I'm sorry. I, sure. yeah, I got no understand. problem. It's, 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 it's KRS 413.072. And it's under the heading Relationship of Agricultural and Silvicultural Operations to, law, 
it's a, it's a little bit smudged there. To law of nuisance and trespass, yeah, yeah, preemption right, of right, local ordinances, right, sustainable right, agriculture. Right. Okay. And, so and, 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 right. It, it says, man, what it says here is that no, um, any, any other, no agricultural or silvicultural operation or any of its appurtenances. If I get all the water from my crops off the house, which is the case, would you consider that a, an appurtenance to horticulture? All right, well, let's, let's take a tour of them. Uh, number one. It's solar gain in order to heat water to wash my clothes. You want to put your finger in there? Uh, no, thank you. Well, it's not. <laughs> you know. <laughs> just touch it. Just, just, here. Just, just touch I mean. It, it's warm. It's warm. Yeah. Yeah, right, all right. It's warm enough to wash clothes, right? Sure. All right. I'm going to spend the rest of my life here. I'm not interested in making my house look good to sell. I'm interested in making it provide food for me and my customers at the market. And, and that is one of the arguments that your critics make against you. They say that the way you keep the house, the appearance, it lowers the real estate values of the surrounding property. That's a that? bunch of baloney. And if, it's, if, 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 if in fact it does, then also what reduces the, pro the value of property around is that you can't do at home what you want to do. If you can't do at home what you want to do, it doesn't would never do some the value of your property. Right, because what this argument comes down to is, you know, do you have a right, or what are there limitations on what you have the right to do on your own property? And for the most part, I think most people who respect property rights, they would say, you know, home is your castle, you can do what you want, up until the point where it hurts someone else. And so some people are arguing what you're doing here is hurting other people. Do you buy that at all? If they see it that way, then that's their problem. Look at all, look man, I mean, with it, there, there, and, there, and, there, and there, there are 20 pear trees here. I can, and say, I, I can graft, if I graft every one of them with a Bartlett twig and multiply that times $30, well, that's $300 worth of trees within arm's reach here. This guy moved in, he had KU, because he could get it done for free, he had KU come over and cut down one of the biggest trees in Georgetown. And, and because he could get it done for free. He ran in a KU brochure that they would cut down trees that are near power lines. He had it done, I've got a picture of it. Remember, I'll show you, the I've got a picture of it before they cut it down. And, and ever since, so he gets his tree cut down for free and then he goes to the city and complains about me not cutting down my trees. I'm a horticulture. I don't want to cut down my trees, I like my trees. But, the, 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 I don't know, how did I get off on that? Uh, what did you ask me? <laughs> um, I asked you if any of your neighbors had taken a tour like what you're Just showing taking me. Taking a tour, yeah. yeah. What I'm trying to say to you is that I'm influencing my neighbor because if you look, you'll see not only does he have a peach tree, I've planted all these medians here in fruit trees, right? What, he's got a peach tree there now. That peach tree wouldn't be there if I hadn't set the role, hadn't set an example. I was born and raised in this neighborhood. I grew up in this neighborhood. I've spent my whole life, my mama and daddy, lived in this neighborhood. My uncle owned that house right down there, two, three houses down. I grew up here. I, I saw when Georgetown was a green and pleasant place, and I have seen it become an industrial corporate stomping ground. And I am out to reverse that trend and to, to make Georgetown a green and pleasant, quiet, peaceful place again. I don't know how you're doing on the quiet part. <laughs> because I'm making so much noise myself. I apologize, but, 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 but I apologize, okay? I, I'm done for just No, I apologize, I apologize. No. Uh, uh, and I just, I told the judge that. I don't like neighbors who criticize me for not having kids when they're feeding their kids food that comes from uh, who knows where. I've got standards when it comes to food. I, and if I, I mean, I've got a girlfriend. She's got a, a son uh, and, and lots of nieces, nieces and nephews. How do we spend our time raising a garden over at her house? And she comes over here and helps me now. They don't live here with you? No, okay. no, no, no. She lives with her mom and dad. But, but I don't have any children because I have insisted that we feed any children I might have from the garden. How many women do you find who want to delay childbearing in order to, to, to produce food from the garden? Not many. I haven't met any. Either. No, no, no. So you don't. And that's why... <laughs> I'm, I mean, for the biggest part of my life, I've been celibate. Because I, I, I enjoy, I mean, to me, it's more important to have reliable food raised without any noise. In other words, to have a quality life 
rather than, uh, than, than children. It might hurt the real estate business because the real estate business wants every house looking uniform so that they move. They don't want people, they want, that's why they created a residential zone for the real estate industry so that people reside. What does that mean? Am I going to spend my life on the ground for the real estate agent? No, man. I'm going to, I'm, my home is where I work. And if that hurts the real estate industry, the real estate, uh, you know, uh, business, that's, that's their problem, man. This, this is, uh, one of that. You find this, you find that offensive in any way? Is that, a, does that smell bad or? I don't really smell anything. Right. Okay, that's compost. That's from up there in that pile. Right? That's leaf mold. All right. It's okay. I don't have to smell all okay, of them. Okay, but no, but yeah. this is something different. Yeah. Oh, I want your opinion of that. Yeah, I smell something there, yeah. What is, is that offensive? No, nah, I don't really. It smells like dirt. It smells like dirt. Yeah. That's what it is, dirt. You know what it used to be? You got some on your nose, right? Oh, thank you. You know what it used to be? What? Septic waste from the house. Septic waste. And, and I compost it and make fertilizer out of it. I need fertilizer, man. I'm going to tell you something, So man. what? So what do you do if you don't use the sewage system? I put it in a bucket. I cover I got beside the bucket, I got a bucket of earth or a bucket of wood ashes. When it sees the light of day for maybe five or six seconds, I immediately cover it with wood ashes or soil. When the bucket gets full... Has the light of for how long? For how long? Sees the light of day. How long does it take you to, to, to poop, man? I mean, you know, it, it, you know it, it takes the light of day. Septic waste sees the light of day. It falls into the bucket. I've got a shovel right there. I cover it with either soil okay. or wood ashes. Okay. So, so you're saying you're not letting it out, leaving it out? Of course not, okay. Okay. I mean, do I... What about women, man? Have babies? Don't they handle poop all the time? Why shouldn't Why should a man be afraid of, of turning poop into fertilizer? Especially when it's taken stolen, when ammonium nitrate is imported by all these bureaucrats who spent their life working in offices importing ammonium nitrate. It's being used to make Timothy McVeigh used ammonium nitrate to destroy the federal building in Oklahoma City. I'm doing I'm doing everybody a big favor by not relying on ammonium nitrate. Does that make sense? Yeah. I had been burying septic waste there since 1990. I had it tested in 2006. No fecal contamination. That is the report from the state lab in Frankfurt. And and these are all things that will have been given to the courts? No, to, it's, it, no? no not all no. of them, man. It's too detailed. They, okay. they don't know all of this. What if people say all this stuff you're doing back here it causes bugs and rats and snakes and mosquitoes? Yeah, that's what they say. Have you seen any? Hey, there goes a rat, man! There's a rat! You see that rat? It's a bunch of baloney, man. I'm, it's a bunch I'm, of lies. I'm seeing some mosquitoes, but I guess that's yeah. Well, be okay. Well, well, what? <laughs> me and a, a friend of mine about uh, a girl, girlfriend, maybe an hour to make that twist it from from this year's hay crop. And here you can pull that. Yeah, it's pretty tough. Pretty, pretty tough. I imagine if we both have a full harbor coup, it might break it because it yeah. chunks out. I think I heard some of it snapping a little bit.